Alright. Smiths. Alright. He's not he's a kickboxer. Hey, I fought him. Barb bar. Kickboxer jujitsu judo. Judo fighters, they are not not joking. I already fought this guy, so I'm gonna fight Lucas. Yeah. Now I'm gonna move into medium. Today we're gonna use a heavy bag and develop your accuracy. Oh god. Let's pick it up. Oh, perfect. Nah. Yeah, not good time. Let's push this. Here we go. Good rhythm. It's all about the speed, man. Let's get this. Push, push, push. That's the speed. Five seconds, let's go. Oh. Excellent work today. You carved that bag up. Yes. Yeah, I carved him out. That's uh, how you do. This is how you do. Ah, minus 10. Minus 10 punch speed. Yo, you gotta be kidding me. Heavy bag. I send that. And uh, I'm gonna sim, and then I'm gonna sim that up again. Minus, minus ten punch speed. Nah, advance to fight. So he's so the guy I'm fighting is a jujitsu guy, and they are pretty dangerous. I, I mean, I think jujitsu is like judo, but with punches. So they, they, they can. Uh, take you down and then they can just hammer punches on you and submit you semi-final fight game. boom boom that was a nice combination yeah yeah here is me here is me LX Anderson Stockholm, Sweden. By the way, if I sound too loud, I'm sorry. Probably because I have my face too. Blah. Probably because I have my face. Microphone too close to my face. Alright, alright. No, screw him. Alright, alright. Same, same reach, same reach. Stuff does. There we go, there we go. Oh! Oh, you're gonna regret that. Yeah, you didn't, you didn't think about this, huh, did you? You didn't think about this, did you? Boom, 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 boom! You didn't think of that, huh? That's what happens when you don't touch gloves. Boom, boom! That's what happens when you don't touch gloves with the... with the... <clears throat> Well, that's what happens when I don't touch gloves with the ultimate fighter king. Boom. 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 Yeah. That's what I thought, huh? That's what I thought. Not that much Winner, of a badass, right sorry. Yeah. Say my name. I wind the whole thing out too. All right, let's go. All right, who am I fighting in the final? Barrera. I I knew I was gonna fight him. All right, and Barrera, he's a judo guy, so he he's not a joke. So he can he can easily put me in the clinch and the so he can he can. It, he can take me in the clinch and then he can take me down in a heartbeat. That because that's like judo. That's what judo is all about. You're a tough finalist. This will give you a boost in fans, increasing popularity in the UFC, and extending your longevity. Just don't get ahead of yourself. You still have one win to go. Yep. Try. 
train it. Actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do. Uh, I'm gonna practice my clinch, clinch control, easy. All right, today we're gonna get in the clinch and not let him out. Clinch controlling my with R and the nine position. All right, back clinch. He pushed him. That's it. Double Dig under. your underhooks. Pull his head. I love that right there. Well, let's maintain this position. Keep moving. Come on now, let's get back inside. Pinch those elbows. Finish strong now. Ten seconds. Walk your hips in. Clinch control. Pull down his head. There we go. Way to stay in control. Training is looking good right now. Yeah. Well, that sucked. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that again, so... Quick strike. Heavy bag. Medium. Today we're focused on hands and elbows. That's it. Not stop, keep throwing. There we go, that's it. What's open? Beautiful. That's it, bang. That's it, nice, nice, nice. That's it, right there. All right, buddy. Good work. Please. Ah, right, goddamn. Don't worry about it. Right, I'm gonna try again. All right, buddy. Hands and elbows today. Nice. Good. Keep pushing. Beautiful. Right there, just like that. Nice. Where's the spot? Where's the open? Oh, there we go. Nice. There we go. Come on. Let's dig. Now. Let's dig. Okay. Good job on the bag today. Gotta to fill in a few spots. Uh -huh. You're really making progress. I'm gonna leave it at a P. This was good effort. All right, none injuries, and no wear and tear. Hell yeah! Coming up next, it's a welterweight showcase between Evil Way and Crusher. All right. Hey, there's my coach. Ooh. Ooh. And so the one guy I'm afraid to fight in in here is uh, the notorious Conor McGregor. Yeah, here is me. Crusher looking very confident tonight as he makes his way towards the octagon. He is fired up and ready to fight. This guy has some really technical striking skills, Mike. He's extremely comfortable on his feet, has great timing, Baby and cakes, has a good punch of power. Sense busting about his knees and kicks. He's got very good power, and he could easily turn this into a knockout of the night here. Yeah, I hope so. Crusher enters the octagon, and he's ready to fight. Wait, I have Valet's Hood along? I thought I'd just change it to Valet's Hood. Oh. Alright, and this is my opponent. Or this is Evil cool. Way. He is looking for a dominant victory as he works And they're sharing the USA. Screw you. This fighter is a world-class Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu artist. If he can get this fight to the ground, he will have an advantage there over almost everyone in the world. world. So he has four wins, two losses. Yeah, let me, let me change the two losses into three. Evil Way enters the octagon, Evil and he's ready way. to fight. Tail of the 
take for this welterweight fight. Evil Way is six years his oh, elder. He is two inches taller. Crusher will have a one-inch reach advantage. And once again, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, these two fighters will be competing tonight in the octagon to determine who will be the winner of this season's ultimate fighter. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a Muay Thai fighter, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Stockholm, Sweden, Anderson. Yeah. And now the 19th opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a judo wrestler, holding a professional record of four wins, two losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in 159 pounds. Fighting out of Glendale, Arizona, USA, Evo Way. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. Herb Dean, our uh. referee. Around this, around this. And okay. here we go. There you go. This there you go. Get knocked the there. f out. Ultimate fight. There, hit him. He connects with the straight. Another solid head strike. Oh, he's right here. Jab scores. Hard straight punch. How good is this? Wow! He's trying to stay out of trouble here. Oh no, you don't. Wow! Swing and a miss. Caught him with a big right hand. Nice uppercut. I oh, got him. Huge uppercut misses. Oh! Wow! Oh, oh, oh. There we go. Like that. Yeah. Beautiful strike I'm here not to afraid to knock out my first. own uh, former Let's friend to get the win. Replay. Let's look Ooh. here at the replay. Look at this huge Superman punch mm. that lands right on the button Ooh. and ends this fight. And Let's take a look at that from a different camera. Great angle here. Ooh. Boom. And then he's out. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop in this contest at 1 minute, 27 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout. And now, this season's ultimate fighter, Walter Wake winner, Anderson. And that's right. And there he is, this season's ultimate fighter. God damn. And this is why I ha I've been nicknamed the Crusher because I crush my way to the top. I crush down my opponents ah, until there's nothing left. Hell yeah! I have dominated my entire way through this 